So one of the central questions that Creator Spirit explores is uh, why have so many associated spirituality with the arts? And it turns out that uh, it really is a persistent association. It's something that you encounter in popular culture. Where people have the sense that there's something spiritual about music or visual art. Um, but it's also an idea that you encounter throughout the Western intellectual tradition. So it's an idea you find in Pythagoras, in Plato, um, Boethius, Augustine, Bonaventure, uh, associate beauty with spirituality, um, and right up into the 19th and 20th century with people like Tolstoy and artists like Kandinsky and Schoenberg. So the question is, why should so many people intuit that there is something spiritual about um, the arts? And one of the interesting things about making that move or making that association is it presumes both a philosophy of the arts and a pneumatology. So in other words, if somebody says um, there's something spiritual about the arts, they're saying, well, spirituality is this way and the arts are this way. And for that reason, they're similar. So um, looking at the different reasons that people have associated spirituality in the arts ends up giving us the opportunity both to look at different philosophies of art and different pneumatologies that we find in people like Plato or Schoenberg or Tolstoy or Augustine. So in that way, um, the book ends up being kind of an exploration of pneumatology through the lens of the arts and also, in a sort of way, it ends up being a survey of philosophy of the arts through the lens of spirituality.